started. Um, welcome everyone to the um, Thursday, February 19th meeting of the Hyde Park Town Board. Um, and please join me as we pledge allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, thanks for coming out. Um, Supervisor Roar was very sorry she couldn't be here tonight. She had an injury and um, wasn't able to come, um, but I'm sure she'll be uh, watching uh, the meeting. Um, and this, the purpose of this meeting is to, um, to hear comments on the potential dissolution of the um, town's ownership of the uh, various water districts. So I was just going to ask Councilman Schneider to give us a little intro. Sure, absolutely. Uh, if you don't mind, I will... Uh I'm just going to read a little bit from the uh, immediate release that we have from the town, and that kind of explains uh, a lot that uh, is going to be happening here shortly. Uh, the, the nice thing is is that um, we really had open communication through this whole process. Uh, we've had uh, some great committee members from each water and sewer district. We have some in the audience this evening. Uh, we also have uh, from the county here, we have Jonathan and Bridget, which uh, have been extremely helpful, and we also have BRI here, the uh, operators of our system. So just to give you a little bit of a background before we uh, uh, have some public comment, in 2011, the town of High Park was awarded a local government efficiency grant in the total amount of $175,000 from the New York State Department of State through Local Government Citizen Reorganization Empowerment Grant Program. The purpose of this grant was to, uh, was to support an independent evaluation of the neighborhood water and wastewater system currently managed by the town of High Park with a focus on opportunities to streamline and improve the service delivery of these systems to the citizens within the current town water and sewer districts. The grant also provided for a study of options to transfer the assets and infrastructure and management of the systems to the Dutchess County Water and Wastewater Authority. The grants that uh, we received for that 175,000, boy, we really got a good bang for our buck. Um, you know, if we move forward on giving these systems to the county, they really have a great study and a great understanding on where we stand with these uh, water and wastewater systems. And uh, we really got a, a great in-depth study. Um, and, you know, we've had pictures out in the lobby. And again, we had, um, you know, meetings throughout this whole process. Uh, so to advance this effort, the town formed a reorganization study committee, the RSC, charging the RSC with the development of a reorganization study and plan for each water and sewer district. The RSC prepared draft studies and presented them at a series of meetings with residents of eight of the town's water and sewer districts during the last two weeks of January and the first week of February in 2015 at the High Park Town Hall. In conjunction with the studies, the RSC presented proposed dissolution plans proposing the transfer of ownership of the water and sewer systems to the Dutchess County Water and Wastewater Authority. These presentations were also rebroadcast over the cable network for those unable to attend. Uh, they actually were on the YouTube, and we actually, I think we heard like 45 to 50 hits. So people uh, were able to actually see the meetings uh, and slide through what, what they thought was uh, most important. I thank the media committee for that. Um, and to continue to be available on the public on the YouTube on the town's website, which is www.highparkny.us. Uh, at the Tuesday, February 10, 2015 town board meeting, the RSC will submit the final reorganization study and proposed dissolution plan for each water and sewer district, and these study and plans will be available to the public on the town's website. Again, that's at highparkny.us, and printed copies are available for your review here at the town hall as well. A public hearing is scheduled for this evening, February 19th, at the High Park Town Hall. Uh, the purpose of this is to provide the public for any opportunity to have last-minute comments uh, for favors or, uh, or if they're not happy with uh, the way that the project is going. So it's, uh, the, tonight is really your night for your last comments on this uh, uh, process. The eight town-owned community water and wastewater systems, including the Arbors, Greenbush, Pinebrook, Greenfields, Quaker Hills, Violet Avenue system, were typically turned over to the town after the neighborhoods were constructed and are challenged by their aging infrastructure. Uh, the combined with the growing complexity in these regu uh, regulations of water and wastewater utilities has prompted the town to partner with the Dutchess County Water and Wastewater Authority and the New York State DOS to look at options to consolidate 
or share services with partners who have expertise in this field, such as the Dutchess County Water and Wastewater Authority. Uh, that there is what I think is probably one of the most important issues that the town faces. Um, I, the, the way I, uh, I like using word pictures. I really like to uh, make things a little simplified. And if you think of, you know, our community um, or even our parents who are aging, they need specialized care. You know, when, when you have an aging parent, um, it, you, you really have to get them specialized care. And when you have a, a town board, which historically has a, a, a rate of, of a turnover rate of like every two years has been pretty common in the town. And what ended up happening is when you have a, a new supervisor, a new council, um, they really have to get up to speed on what's going on with the water and wastewater. And um, I, I can tell you, you know, I had zero background in water and sewer. Um, you know, I have a well at the house and I have a septic. Um, and I just assume that, you know, I turn on the faucet and the water's going to be there and I flush, it's, it's going to go down. Uh, when, you, when you have a green field, uh, which is in my ward, uh, and it's a 50-year-old system, and, and all of a sudden they're saying, hey, the, uh, the muffin meister, whatever heck it is that crunches things up is, is going bad. I'm like, okay. Well, you know, so, you know, you, you try to go out and you learn how to, you know, how brown water turns into clear water and, and, and goes out. Um, and there's a big learning curve there. Um, so the nice thing with the, the turning this systems over to the county is that this is what they do. That's all they do. And you really have a specialized physician that's on call 24-7 that will make sure that the systems are being taken care of, um, that the operators are performing to the best ability that they can perform. If there's borrowing, they can borrow a lot better than we can at the town. Um, and they just have a much better management system. So um, I'm really excited that um, over the past three years that I've been able to work with, with VRI and with Pete Cetera, our uh, town engineer. But it's really been a great joy um, working with the county, especially with Jonathan, with the amount of work that he has put into these systems uh, to really um, uh, really guide and, to, and direct us um, and really gave us some good efficiency. So uh, I'm really looking forward to hopefully that that can continue in that, in that path. Uh, the Dutchess County Water and Wastewater Authority has full-time professional staff dedicated to the proper operation of long-term management of water and wastewater system with a long track record of successfully and efficiently managing infrastructure and already manages the High Park Regional Water System which serves over 2,000 customers in the town. The great thing is, is that they're not new. You know, Jonathan actually lives in this community. He drinks the water, and uh, you know, I'm I'm just really excited. So uh, that's just a little bit of a background. Uh, so at this point, I guess we will open it up for any uh, comments that uh, uh, the residents might have. And uh, yeah, I think the clerk will uh, oh, read the, the clerk has to read. Yes, I'm so sorry. And that'll open the public hearing. Please take notice that the Town Board of the Town of High Park, pursuant to Resolution 210-26 of 2015, shall conduct a public hearing on the 19th day of February 2015 at 7 o'clock p.m. at the Hyde Park Town Hall, located at 4383 Albany Post Road, Hyde Park, New York, for the purpose of hearing public comment on the reorganiza reorganization studies and dissolution plans for the proposed transfer of ownership and management of the town sewer and water districts to the Dutchess County Water and Wastewater Authority. Further notice is hereby given that the Town of Hyde Park has prepared reorganization studies and plans for the transfer of ownership of the Arbors Water District, Violet Avenue Water District, Greenbush Water District, Pinebrook Estates Water District, Pinebrook Estates Sewer District, Greenfields Water District, Greenfield Sewer District, and the Quakers Hill Water District. Further notice is hereby given that the reorganization studies and dissolution plans are available for the public on the town's website. Um, and printed copies are available for review in the office of the town clerk during normal business hours. Any person desiring to be heard with regard to the reorganization studies and plans shall be provided with an opportunity to do so at said public hearing. By order of the town board, dated February 11th, 2015, Hyde Park, New York, Donna McGrogan, town clerk. So you're welcome to come up one at a time and, and comment. Um, please state your name and address for the record. And um, we try to keep it to three minutes a, a person. Come on. Don't all jump up at once. 
Clint Kershaw, 88th Avenue. I'm in the Greenbush Water District. And fortunately, uh, using your analogy, my parent is only 10 years old. So <laughs> our, we're all in pretty good shape. Yeah. Um, there are other districts that have, uh, that will be paying for 30 or 40 years of deferred maintenance at this point. Um, I see uh, no negatives to this whole process, and I was on the committee, so I've been here from the beginning. Great. Um, I see no negatives and all positives. Um, our district has not been managed well, and uh, it, it just needs to be. It's just Correct. Uh, the water quality. And the only thing that I ask, and we've talked about this, it's really not part of this process, is we'd like fire water, because our, our, we're not fire, we don't have fire rated hyd hydrants yet, but that's a whole nother mm -hmm. ball game. But uh, I'm in uh, full support, and uh, I think the town should get out of the septic and water business. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Clint. Thank you. And thank you for serving on that board. Anyone else? Okay. Um, I guess we can. Um, did someone want to make a motion to close the? I'll make a period? motion to close. Second. Okay. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, anything else we need to do? Just thank everyone who served on, on the advisory committees. Um, thank you to Bridget Barkley and Jonathan Churns for coming out tonight. And um, I guess that calls it a night. Uh, motion to adjourn? Make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you all for coming out.